you, you have to understand that uh, in the U.S., we spend $90 billion a year on intelligence and misinformation. I mean, this is what we do. Can you imagine $90 billion a year being spent perhaps on education? No. We spend it on disinformation. Uh, and the reason why is not because Americans are evil people. It has to do with the sense that we have to be number one. And if we have to, if we can't compete with you, we're going to break your legs. This is what they call the Tonya Harding defense. All right? She was afraid that her good friend would somehow beat her at the Olympics. So she, her, she got her boyfriend and another friend to go over and try to break her legs. All right? This is exactly what the U.S. is doing. But the idea that you can change that, I always say, you know, China has a squeaky toy, right? The West, we have a million watt <laughs> speaker phone that we can use on a daily basis because we control the international press. $1.5 billion was used by the U.S. government to train journalists how to write negative stories about China over five years. $300 million a year just being spent on the free press to teach them, all right, how to be biased against China. Now, you know, it, it seems unbelievable. Imagine if China was doing that, all right? We in the U.S. would say, see, this, you know, this is an attack on the freedom of the press of information. So there's a lot of work to be done. As I said, you, you like that phrase, there's a lot of information, too much, but not a lot of understanding. That is the role. That's what has to change. Thank you.